Hello, my name is Angel Chava Lopez. It's, this is the fourth installment of my Hangout series about TDD, TDD Rocks. You can follow me at Twitter as at HA Lopez. Um, I, today I, I will work on Sharp Base uh, in memory, a simple in memory database writing C Sharp using TDD. Uh, this is the the second part of my TD processing on, on this project. Uh, in the previous uh, um, presentation, uh, we have uh, an engine that can create database uh, and keep the, the list of database in memory we created. We have uh, a database that has a list of a uh, dictionary of table we created and uh, we have table that the only one property it has by now is the stream name. Mm, maybe we, I, I, I can add more tests about uh, uh, what what happens if I want to create a database that it already exists in the engine or what happens if I uh, pass a null argument or invalid argument as a name, uh, but uh, I, some some of the te those tests I will write out of the this hangout. Uh, let's go to try to implement the the field uh, the field um, the column uh, behavior. I want to have table uh, create or oh, no no add 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 column. Uh, with the by now with the name of column only. Let me say if I have uh, this is the keyword, um, and then uh, I want to have other columns, no autonumerating, no type yet. Um, then uh, I want to to have maybe um, um, get columns. Column names at least uh, to to have the, the list the order list of the defined uh, columns. Uh, the order may be important because uh, we need to to implement and sometimes the the insert of a new row with only the values instead of the values and the names. Okay, let's go to a start. I will add. More a new test, a basic unit test, um, table test. You know, I I'm not original in the. I'm I'm not a creative man in the name of test. Put here. Um, maybe the test could be. Uh, oh. That is method. I am using the test support from the Visual Studio. Um, pull boy uh, add column in um, get column names. I want to have uh, what already have. Here, that is uh, uh, an engine and create the, the database. And I want to have create the, the, that, the, the table, the creation of table. And now I want to have the exercise, exercise the table with add column, maybe name, um, and table. I, I can do directly two columns. Maybe in a, I, I could I could write only 
uh, one column first, uh, and then I get column names. And then check the result. The result is I want to dot null, and I want maybe I don't know if if I want a list or an enumerable. Uh, maybe an enumerable it's enough for now. Assert are equal, and then I need the number one. Uh, so, so uh, count uh, assert are equal maybe uh, name or sal first. It doesn't compile yet, but I can add the minimal code to make this to compile. Label string get column names as usual throw new not implemented exception that's first approach um, then I want to have maybe a void by now add column stream name and then again I want to throw an exception by now table test or well, apparently it's compiled I can run the test it's failed uh, the method of operation is not implemented and is here Maybe I can stream the minimal code to pass the test. Maybe is this run the test again? Add column and get column names. Here, non implemented exception, maybe I can return uh, new list the string only having this column, column name. Remove this, run. And the test is is in green. Yes, but this is a cheating implementation because only one column is supported. But now we can exercise our software on the test to have more columns. Uh, add columns. I want to have name. Description um, maybe price. Good. Now I expect three as count. Um, maybe I, I want to have uh, this time. Directly as array or to list as uh, to list. Sorry, oh, my keyboard is alive. Then the cam is directly a property of the list. And I can add access by index. 
I expect that the columns are retrieved in the same order I created them. Oh, I, I didn't mention that I'm not talking English, but in English, ancient English. You know, English, ancient English, a non standard dialect of English, but I expect you can understand me. Uh, name, description, and price. Okay. Let's go. It failed because the count returns one instead of three. Well, stop cheating now. Private string. Column names. Oh, some, some, um, I don't like this notation. Well, okay. It's only a question of personal style. Um, new list string. And then column. Oh, sorry. Column names. Column names. Add name. I should add a test testing if the name is is is, is not null or is the name is already exists in the list. And now we directly return column names. Maybe this is, I can refactor this to, to, to return a copy so the external programmer not, uh, can, cannot uh, modify the, num the, the, the strings. But by now, we have this test. And it's paste, pass in green. OK. Let's go now. I I want having that that definition. I want to insert um, maybe a, a a row. Uh, I don't decide yet what is the internal representation of a row, but having TD in place, we, we can implement the most simple implementation. Then, when we reach some blocking issue or performance or memory, we can in general, uh, refactor the internet implementation because we have all the tests in place to to help us to do such uh, maybe surgical refactor. I want yes, I see. I see it is good. Uh, we have enough time for for a round, maybe not. Mm. Let's go to add some some other tests, and then I will wrote the the, the field test in another hangout. Uh, this hangout, the, this series of hangouts is, is not eternal. I I want to to show the the first step in this uh, project. And uh, ah, I forget to mention I need to review this, get that, git commit, and uh, with the message uh, table for test, maybe. Oh, oh, I have some. I, okay, and now yes, push.
good. Go to review that if all the tests can is still in green. Are in green? Yes, eight tests are in green. And we sign go to code coverage. Oh no, code coverage yet. Okay. Oh, I think that I add the code coverage here. Code coverage. Configure Sharp database. Okay. Oh, too many menus and options, but let's go to run the test again. The code coverage. Oh, it still resists. Something is square here. Let's review code coverage, configure, shop database, at assembly. Okay. Apply. Close. And now, yes. Maybe I, I need to run the all the tests again from the top menu instead of the oh we have 100% because every co every line of production code was generated and was uh, born by to comply with one right and a previous right and test uh, it's, it's not mandatory to have 100% uh, code coverage but uh, know that this is a consequence of writing the, the software using TDD. We are writing a software in a organically form, we, uh, with organically way, with uh, lit, uh, small incremental uh, uh, um, small incremental steps that assure us that the the, the software we are creating. Uh, are uh, comply is comply with the the specified tests. Uh, this is something that is very important to understand why we use TDD. It's not only writing the test. The tests are examples of why of what uh, we expect uh, from our software and under uh, development. Okay. This is good enough for now. I hope you can understand what is uh, my process. Maybe not perfect, but I, I, I had many satisfaction uh, using this approach in my professional and personal uh, project. Uh, let's go to stop the broadcast and see you later, uh, Matrix.